Uh, let's see, Mike's asking, how do you calm a crazy or manic puppy? Actually, those are two questions. I'm gonna put them two together. Crazy or manic puppy? Um, a lot of working dogs that I deal with in the working dog world are what we would perceive as humans as crazy. They're biting your ankles, they're actually tearing your pant legs, um, they're chasing you, they're climbing up on you, they want to play with your whatever, your toys, your, your keys as toys, or you know, your backpack, or whatever they can find, chew your shoes, etc, etc. Um, the, once again, the best way is total deference, right? If you walk in and you just act like the puppies aren't there, they may not stop biting your pant leg or something, but they won't go into a frenzy like they could if you started interacting with them in a more energetic way. That being said, um, if you have brought home a puppy to your house and your puppy is crazy and acting manic and all that, uh, first of all, I, I would evaluate the bloodlines that you chose from if that's something that you really didn't want um, or the breed. But then in addition to that, if that's what you wanted and your dog is like that, then simple things like giving them something to chew on, a rubber cock toy as soon as you walk in and play with it would deviate their attention from biting you to biting the toy. Um, as well as, like always, um, fun and games with the puppy, food rewards, training them to snap out of that behavior versus fixating on it and then that behavior exacerbating uh, over a short period of time which can be painful for people whether it be you, the owner, your spouse, or your kids, or whomever, right? Um, so try some of those things. Uh, go ahead and check out thebeacondog.com. Uh, like, comment, and share, and I could ask, answer further questions uh, such as these as well. Thank you so much.